Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting March 13th, 2017. And this is going to be a tarot and psychic um, messages for the week. You have your work and finance tarot readings for the week and so I wanted to uh, make sure that you also have a general tarot uh, reading for the week for those of you who are not necessarily um, interested okay uh, in just work and finance it's going to be a general reading okay so several areas of life that we're going to be looking at um, briefly okay um, since these are weeklies in order to be able to keep them up I need to keep them rather short uh, because they do take a lot of time um, so that's why they they're a little bit shorter um, but we are also incorporating the psychic messages the channeled messages in this weekly so for the general weeklies, we're going to have a tarot portion and then the channeling portion. Um, and this way you, you should have um, something to relate to if you relate better to tarot or if you relate better to um, channeling. Hopefully you'll have everything you need in this video to give you an idea of what's coming up for you in the week. Um, of course, as usual, these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Uh, the tarot may apply, the psychic messages not so much, or the psychic messages make sense, but the tarot doesn't apply for you this week, okay? Anything's possible, so try and keep an open mind. Um, also, make sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional insight. They may give you additional messages as to what may be coming up for you in the week, and so they may resonate better with you than your sun sign at times when it comes to general readings. Of course, if you need more guidance that is specific to just you, um, all the links to my website for private readings are in the description box below. And we are running uh, special offer readings um, at this time, so it would be a good time to check them out if you're interested in a private reading. Okay, so that being said, let's have a look at what the week uh, has in store for each of the signs. I hope you enjoy your readings, that you have a wonderful week. Um, enjoy and I'll talk to you again really, really soon. Take care. Hi Libra and welcome to your reading for the week. Let's have a look at what it's about for you here, okay? So we're going to be looking at the tarot portion first and then the uh, channeling second. So in your current situation we do have the Six of Cups reversed. With the Six of Cups reversed here, it could be a tendency to hold on to the past or um, <clears throat> difficulty letting go of the past, uh, holding on to a person, a thought, an idea, a vision, um, a memory, okay? And it got to the point where it's too much, it needs to stop, okay? That's why it's showing up reverse, you need to, to let it go, whatever this is. For others of you, I feel like this is something coming to you from the past unexpectedly, or it could be something coming to you from the past uh, in terms of an inheritance, or a gift or something like that, okay. Um, and the Six of Cups reverse can also represent maybe dealing with some sort of an argument with a friend or someone you've been with for a long time or you've been, um, they've been in your life for a really long time. It also comes up as that for some of you. Um, and with the Six of Cups here, it could also be a time where you just space out. You just, you're very melancholic. You're thinking about the past too much. Um, you're dealing a lot with the past in terms of going over memories or receiving communication from the past and it, it gets to a point where you're not in the present anymore you're just going back and living in the past so that's why it's showing up reverse okay you just need to be mindful of that and make sure that you keep the balance what you can do to help your current situation we do have the justice card reversed so the justice card reversed is usually a card that talks about laying back and weighing up your options and um, thinking things through and so on and making the necessary cuts. With the justice card reversed, it is your card, it is the card representing Libra. And so I feel that for you, what it's saying here, it's not saying be sneaky or steal or anything like that, okay, be unfair. It is saying... Um, It is asking you to take action, okay? It's asking you to um, just wake up, okay, here and take action. It's, you've thought about this, okay? Don't go back on a, on a former decision. You've thought, you've thought about this once you dealt with it in the past, okay? You've made your decision, you've made your choices. So with the Justice card reversed, 
it's about don't go back okay don't go over it again and again and again um and with the justice card reversed it's also a card that says you always give this person the benefit of the doubt you always give this person second chances you're always benevolent you're always trying to be fair by them and the justice card reversed here is asking you to in this instance be fair to you okay because whoever this person was uh could be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces um they just don't deserve you to be fair with them so they don't deserve all the second chances and so the justice card reversed here for you is asking you to be fair to you for once okay put yourself first for once okay don't always try to see the other per person's point of view don't always try to understand the other person don't always try to um give them second chances and give them the benefit of the doubt okay and you know that this person doesn't deserve a second chance you know that it's not worth you getting involved in this once again okay if this is to do with an inheritance uh or or um <clears throat> a gift you receive and it's to do with family the justice card reverse is saying there may be people challenging it okay and the justice card reverse is asking you to do the right thing don't stoop to their level and uh, they may try subterfuge is what i'm hearing um, they may try to um, take this away from you, uh, sue you for it, or anything like that, okay? If you're dealing with any any situation like that, then the message here is don't stoop to their level. Whatever they're doing, it will be exposed, okay? Don't let them throw you off balance either. In terms of what not to do, we have the tower upright. So with the tower upright here, in terms of what not to do, this is obviously, you know, don't have the big fight don't have the big argument um don't overreact okay because the tower can also show up when we're starting off very calmly or we start a conversation a normal conversation and then before we know it two seconds later it's a big argument okay so that's something that you need to be mindful of for this week your temper and keeping it in check uh, don't let these people push your buttons and if this is a legal situation or you're de dealing with the court systems or you're dealing with this in a professional sense in your job in your work situation the, the tower here is asking you to be professional and again don't let the situation throw you off balance to the point where you just blow up make a scene have fights at work okay because that's i feel that for some of you that's what this person is trying to get you to do okay so um and that somehow will prove their point okay that's that's also something coming up so with the tower here in terms of what not to do keep yourself cool and collected here put a poker face on if you feel things get a little bit heated excuse yourself go outside get some fresh air clear your head calm down and then go back into it okay and with the with the six of cups this could also be a situation that's been going on forever it seems and you just want to be done with it there may be a tendency to um act abruptly or rashly with the justice card here and the tower so they're asking you be calm be cool collected don't do anything immoral or illegal okay with the justice card here because you're creating karma and don't blow up okay with the tower here there is a better way you find it by staying calm and you find it by staying centered okay and in the outcome position we do have the queen of swords reversed so the queen of swords reversed here for some of you, this is um, for some of you. This is your energy because it's again air sign energy, so Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Queen of Swords reversed is an energy where she's not the best person. Okay, she can be very petty. She can be very uh, kind of one track mind type of person. If you scorn her, if you hurt her, she will get you back. Okay, uh, she can be very vengeful. She can be very jealous, um, creating conflict on purpose, creating drama on purpose um and so you may be dealing with such a person they're not going to get away with whatever they're saying about you whatever they're trying to spread about you okay with this queen of court swords reversed um it could be that this one is someone is this is someone close to you and that's why they get to push your buttons um someone who can hurt you with their words I feel that if you stay cool centered you focus on doing the right thing 
and you get yourself legal protection okay if this is a legal situation and you're trying to do something illegal get yourself legal advice legal counsel um and if that is the case i feel like the queen of swords is reversed because she won't be able to get away with what she's trying to do uh and so that's going to make her upset however there's nothing she can do to you unless you let it happen okay so whatever she says if you don't react to it if you just put a wall up and focus on better things she's not going to get to you okay for those of you i feel like this queen of swords will be exposed uh, for whatever the situation is that she's causing for you and for this it is a okay look um i can't lie here further the queen of swords and the justice card reverse here is your energy where you're doing something that's not quite right um and so you will, it will be a temporary victory but you will be found out in the end if there's anything like that going on there's no judgment here i'm just letting you know either cover your tracks if that's what you want to do or just don't do it because you it won't last okay your victory here won't last if this is how you got your victory okay further this is a situation where you're trying to get away from the past you're trying to let go of the past it's difficult and in the end you kind of go back to it with the queen of swords because you can't be fair you can't be you can't think straight you can't detach yourself from the situation and if that is the case then try to think in perspective try to think in the long run do you still want to be doing this five years from now do you still want to be involved in the situation five years from now um because you can still turn things around you know you can still turn this queen of swords around where you're wise and you're um experienced and you're uh protecting yourself okay you're cutting out people or situations that don't deserve you as opposed to just letting them in or let them walk all over you okay <clears throat> and take you for granted let's look at your channel messages so your card is giving and receiving and i'd like us to do the same exercise as we did last week where you take a few deep breaths in clear your head close your eyes and then when you open your eyes you just take all, take the card in okay don't analyze it don't try to understand don't try, try to whatever okay just let it come to you let it speak to you okay with this with this um card here um that's going to be a good exercise for your intuition using your intuition and it's also going to um open you up so that your guides can speak to you directly so it's going to be an opportunity for get for you to get a, a direct a personal message uh in this general reading that may or may not apply pause the video if you have to and do the meditation for as long as you need to okay okay let's look at what's what this is about for you So for some of you this is about a big inheritance and you're a good person and you're trying to be fair so you're trying to split it with your siblings or split it with other people you think may be entitled they're not the best people they, their motives are not pure which is why they were not entitled to that inheritance so for some of you that's what's going on and it's time to just stop being so giving or trying to be fair by everyone at the end of the day you deserve this and they may not okay if they deserved it they would have been on on the list so to speak for those of you i feel like this is a week where a lot of people come to you for help but they just take they just take and take and take until you're reminded <clears throat> but there needs to be a balance between giving and receiving between what you give and what you receive okay so if there is no balance there it's time to stop okay don't just give 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 without getting anything in return because you're sending the wrong message to the universe you're sending the message that you don't need anything you don't deserve anything okay you don't expect anything you're just going to give it away abundance doesn't stick to you abundance goes away from you so it's a really powerful tool for manifestation so just be mindful of that you always have to have a healthy balance between giving and receiving
okay? For those of you, there could be there could be a resolution to a family dispute or a fam or discord in the family this week. There could be a resolution to that. There could be a coming back together. It happens with honesty, with people just letting go of their ego and just trying to be honest. And it's up to you to set the tone, okay? If you set the tone, others will follow and you can resolve the situation. For those of you, I'm seeing a teaching job, taking a teaching job or speaking, public speaking or motivational speaking or where you go to schools and you talk to children and you uh, inspire them or, or uh, stuff like that. Sharing your wisdom, sharing your experience. It could also be, you know, where you train other people. It could be that as well. I hear apprehensive and I'm seeing someone coming to you for help like they always do and you wanting to jump to their aid you're asked to you're gonna know who this is you're asked to stop take a second and think are you helping or enabling this person Um, for those of you, I'm also seeing putting money together or um, raising money. Could be a, um, for some of you, I hear trust fund, so you're not raising money for, or you could be raising money for a trust fund or uh, setting up a trust fund um, or a savings bond or anything like that for your children. Or this is what's coming to you this week. But it could also be like fundraising where people help. People come together to help the cause. And I think Leo got this as well. You're also encouraged to ask for what you need. Whether it's from a friend, family member, a bank, school, whatever this is for you, you're encouraged to ask for what you need. Don't try to do everything yourself and don't just sit there quietly if you need help. Ask for the help. You will receive help this week if you ask for it. I also hear that it, you don't have to struggle. Does, it's not necessary for you to struggle. For those of you, um, I feel that especially if you're joining a new community, you may receive a lot of invitations or people asking you out on dates, or people uh, trying to get to know you better. And the message here is try to meet them halfway if they're making an effort to share with you who they are in the hopes that, that you know they're gonna get to know you better. Then the message here is if you are the least bit interested in seeing where that goes, and this could be with a friendship or uh, a relationship or a romantic situation but if you're the least bit interested or curious to see where that could go the message here is try to meet this person halfway um, and if you're dealing with interest from multiple parties then the message here is um, just think about who who floats your boat better you know who 
uh, you feel you have more in common with, who you feel more drawn to. Pick one and then meet them halfway with getting to know each other. I feel that for some of you, if you're trying to flirt with multiple people or date multiple people at the same time, I feel like it's going to backfire on you this week. If this is happening to you, because it could be that way as well, if you're an option for uh, someone else and you're part of a group of options that they have, uh, the message here is be honest, let that person know how you feel and let them know that you'd rather they just focus on you, see what they say, uh, trust your instincts here. I feel that if this person is a player, you know this already. And so this is going to be your way of, look, you can have me and just me, or if you're not, if you're going to still talk to other people and, and flirt with other people, then I'm just going to um, go away because I don't deserve this. But for some of you, it is about that, okay? It is about no longer waiting uh, for someone to pick you. If they were going to do it, they would have done it by now. Okay, that's what I hear. I also um, see karma coming back to you. And you receiving this week if you've been the one giving, giving, giving. But it does have to come with you understanding that there needs to be giving and receiving. It's not okay to just give, just give, okay? Because again, it's sending the universe the wrong message. So I feel that if you, if you just have that conversation with yourself and say, I need to receive too, or I too deserve to receive. And then you start doing things for yourself as well. Um, when you do something for someone else, do something for yourself. I feel like that's when karma comes back around and you start to receive either a lot of help this week or money this week or genuine emotion, okay? And I feel like that could be a friendship, a true friendship or even um, romantic intentions from someone. But it can be a very beautiful week. It is a very karmic week though, so it does make sense with the justice showing up in your reading. And so it's a reminder of truly be fair, okay, to yourself as well as others. It's not just about being fair to others, okay? You have to be fair to yourself and others. If you do that, I feel that karmic blessings of all kinds are coming to you this week. So these are a few of the messages coming through for you this week they're also saying if a situation happens this week where you feel like it was unfair the message is don't try to take justice in your own hands have faith believe in karma believe that things will happen the way they are meant to ultimately for our highest good don't act hastily don't take justice in your own hands that's what i hear okay try to be patient try to focus on yourself um and your your faith your spirituality draw draw strength from there and truly believe in karma because it will work, okay? So these are your messages for the week. I hope that they make sense and that they help. Um, the sun is rising here, so the, the lighting has changed. It's a little bit more bright. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Hope you find it useful. Let me know. I'm looking forward to your comments. Have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.